hey hi youtube how are you i hope you all guys are doing great uh, from this video onwards we are going to start a debugging uh, session or a series where i will teach you how to debug your code uh, most developers know how to code but not every developer knows how to debug and let's be honest how many of uh, us still use print statements print here print there with some crazy lines and suddenly your clean code become a mess but what if i told you there's a better way a smarter faster cleaner way to understand what's going wrong in your code or if you are given legacy code and you have to understand how the flow goes without flooding your terminal with print statements so that's debugging so every uh, you can say every code editor id has their own debugger and all work similar way so in this video we are going to see in vs code and the coding language that i'm going to use it's python but uh, definitely the basics remain same no matter whatever language you are using so what debugging is it lets you pause your code inspect variables step through the logic and even catch bugs you don't know they exist okay <laughs> so in this series i will teach you how to debug like a pro using vs code so uh, there will be lots of videos like uh, you can see on the screen lecture one will be we will start with the basics like breakpoints how breakpoints helps then in lecture two we will move to the watch panel to track variables in real time how we can utilize watch panel what is the power of watch watch panel then comes our first challenging video I, I will try to add more challenging videos so that whenever you learn something i will throw a challenge to you and we will solve that challenge in that video all uh, only but first try to give a shot to it and see where, what Ever you have learned whether it is correct or not and definitely there is no right or wrong this or that in debugging basically you have to apply your own brain all the people have different kinds of techniques applying breakpoints wherever you have to apply breakpoints and no matter what uh, how good your debugging skills are whenever you are deployed to a project then if you don't have understanding of their business then definitely you are not going to able to understand what are the pain points and how to debug it because without understanding the uh, you can say business logic because let's suppose i give you a problem about find uh, this is a code to find leap year but if you don't know the business logic behind finding a leap year then how you will debug so understanding the business logic is really really important but this whole video is about debugging so we can park it then lecture three we will understand the call stack to see how your functions are flowing lecture four will be to learn how to set conditional breakpoints how there are different types of breakpoints normal breakpoints conditional breakpoints lock points and triggered breakpoints are also there then in lecture five we will see lock points which are synonymous to print statements <laughs> uh, then our favorite print statement then lecture six is finally how we it's about the handle raise exceptions in the right way okay so let's dive in or uh, let's look into lecture one which will be about the um, the basic understanding of breakpoints okay so if you have been stuck with using print statement it's time to level up by the end of this series i can say definitely you will be able to track down bugs faster and build more confidence so let's get started with uh, breakpoints in lecture one okay and definitely uh, i will be looking into the second monitor so don't worry about it and i can say that um this is just a, a one page uh, presentation that i have made for you uh, let me close it and yeah so all these lectures all these codes are here in uh, this repo i will give this link of this repo in the uh, description box of the of this video um and i think it is in the master branch so please switch to master branch and here you can see some challenges are there currently it's in building so i have just made one uh, two challenges and here are the lectures okay so let's switch to vs code and let's see what we can explore in the first video okay so uh, in the first lecture this is about breakpoints okay so what actually a breakpoint is a breakpoint is a marker that tells any kind of editor in this case it's vs code to pause execution here so i can look around what is happening in the code and it lets you freeze the code right at the line and inspect the variables step through line by line and understand the flow without editing your code okay so 
um, we will go with very simple uh, programs and then definitely in the whole series uh, I will try to add lots of things how you can debug dockerized container your AWS app GCP app and lots more thing uh, but first start with the very basic things okay so here you can see okay this is a very simple program where we are having an input list and we are calling our method which is sum of list and this is the input list we are passing and it is uh, having sum as zero and it is iterating over the list and it is adding and we are returning a sum okay so let's suppose you got this program okay uh, definitely in real life you will not get a very simple program but let's take this a uh, simple program okay so now how you run this program it's very simple you go here and you select run python file and once you run it you get the answer 100 because 40 plus 30 plus 20 plus 10 it's 100 okay so uh, how we can debug it okay what's the main thing in debugging okay let's suppose um, how we debug generally let's suppose you want to see what is actually in this rest sum or maybe what is happening inside this function you want to see it so you generally have some print statements and look at the variables what are what is being what is happening in the background okay but what we can do using debugging is we can introduce some breakpoints okay so this is the breakpoint as I told you, breakpoints is a marker, okay, that tells the VS Code to, you have to pause your execution here, okay. Now, if I add a breakpoint, then I can debug the code. How I can debug the code? Here, at the left one, okay, and just before it, I think you know what is virtual environment is, okay, how to activate it. So, once you have the virtual environment, you can simply activate it using source. Uh, maybe uh, in Windows it is a bit different, but you can easily find it anywhere. Okay, source uh, VNV, then bin, then activate. Okay, so it will activate your virtual environment. And inside this virtual environment in bin, there is your Python interpreter. So you have to, it should be selected here. Okay, you can select it uh, through here. Okay, so it's not a big deal. Okay, currently it's selected to global, but you can choose anyone. Okay, you can use this one also. Okay. It's better to select your virtual in, uh, Python interpreter from your virtual environment for your project. Okay, so I think this is a very basic thing. Okay, then what you can do? So if you have to debug this program, then just go to this one and see. There are two things: Python debugger, uh, debug Python file, and debug using launch uh, JSON. So as of now. Uh, we are just going with a debug python file okay we can see what uh, the next uh, other other one is okay so if i add a breakpoint here it means that your program will start executing and it will stop here okay cool so it start running so the what, what was the first line of the program it was input list so it ran so here you can see we have a variable which is input list which which is of list type and don't focus a lot on these spatial variables and function variables okay so in this input list we have four data, uh, data uh, integer type of data at zeroth we have something at one we have this is the index and this is the values and the length is four you see how you can see whether uh, what we are having like uh, in input list we are having some values and it is also appearing in line okay that's the power of debugger okay now if uh, so here you can see this one okay this menu this is really really important okay so um the first one uh, its name is continue so continue means run until next breakpoint okay let's suppose you have more than one breakpoints so you can move to your next breakpoint okay let me just uh, make it a bit uh, easier for you okay so we have um, input list let's suppose we have something print some okay then we have print uh, something maybe we can add anything okay sasd anything okay and let's suppose we add some breakpoints let's suppose first breakpoint i have added here next breakpoint is let's suppose i have added here next breakpoint is here let's suppose next breakpoint is here so breakpoint is you can add n number of breakpoints definitely it should be logical for this demo purpose i have i am adding n numbers of breakpoints but it should be uh, applied where you have to look at what is happening okay let's suppose next breakpoint is here okay now um so let's again debug it okay so i have clicked here the first one is continue so 
where the program sto stopped first time first time it stopped where the first breakpoint was the first breakpoint was here so it is stopped and see no none of the variable is none of the local or global variables are there okay don't focus on the special and functional variables okay we can look at it later but currently there is no local variables or global variables okay but if i do it which is continue means move until next breakpoint so currently the breakpoint is at ninth line it should move to 10th line so it moved to 10th line okay now once we move to 10th line we have already initialized the variable which is input list so see you can see it here input list the variable is already created so this is what continue is okay then step over means run this line and move to next okay so if i press this here so run this line and move to next so it moved to 11th line okay then the so simply we have to move one by one okay then it is uh, the third one in the menu is step into okay what actually step into is go into functional calls so we can see that there is a function call which is some off list okay now we have to see uh, see um, what difference i can show it if i do this so it didn't went inside the function but definitely once the function call has happened it created a variable which is rest sum because this function is returning something it got stored in rest sum so here you can see a variable has been created rest sum and input list was already there so here you can also see what are the variables we have so we have rest sum input list we already have and what uh, the sum of list returned 100 okay but what i want is uh, i want to show you how to go inside the method okay so let's do it let's um let me stop this debugger and let's move again okay so continue to next breakpoint continue to next breakpoint now we want to explore this third item which is step into so step into the function okay whenever you have to step into a method you can do this okay so we moved inside the function and here you can see because this function is having x okay because input list has been passed and it, it has been referencing as x so here you can see we have x it is the same as input list but now in this local scope the variable name is x okay now if we move to next line so how we can move to next line this is how we can move to next line now an, another variable has been created which is sum is equals to zero okay now uh, if i will do this so it will keep iterating so currently if you see sum is zero okay and now if i will move next now the sum value has become 10 because first element was 10 and it added up to uh, added in the sum so initially it was 0 0 plus 10 is 10 so if i keep going like this step over step over so it will keep doing like this and at the end we will get 100 and finally the flow came to return sum so this is how function works because we go into inside the function then there are some declarations some uh, service logics are there and then finally we return a variable okay so now if i will do this so think where it will come because the control will move again to again from where it was called so it was called from 11th line and it again came back to 11th ninth okay now you can see okay uh what was the is uh what what, uh, what we got we return uh sum of list as 100 but definitely we have not stored it so if we move to next line definitely we will be storing this whatever sum list has returned it has been stored to rest sum and rest sum is having 100 so we move to next line okay and this one is just to restart so it will start your whole program okay if you do this simple okay it will start okay so for as of now i'm not going inside the method so this was the state where we have earlier and this is just to stop the debugger okay so let let me move to next line so this is the final thing because this was the last breakpoint okay and if i do this then definitely the debugger will stop okay so and how you can remove a breakpoint simply double uh, just click on it okay so if i will now now let's suppose i don't want a breakpoint here okay so if i run this and debug so this is the place where first breakpoint appeared so it stopped there maybe run to next breakpoint i move to next breakpoint move to next breakpoint what do you think it will move to 11th line or 12th definitely 12th because at 11th we don't have a breakpoint so it moved to 11th line and we have rest sum as 100 now if i will press it again the program will end because everything executed successfully so this is how breakpoints help okay so breakpoints helps you to pause the execution freeze your code 
uh, and inspect the variables and definitely in future we will see this breakpoints call stack and watch and definitely it's going to be very very helpful so that's it in this video where we have learned about breakpoints and in future video in the next video we are going to see watch panels which is really really interesting meet you in the next video till then bye bye